Hello guys, today in this video I want to show you how to use Buzzy. Buzzy is an AI plugin for Figma that generates real application from text and I want to show you how to, to build an application with this great plugin. Let's take a look on it. I will show the steps, uh, they show all the process step by step and I hope uh, you will benefit you and you will understand how to do it by yourself. So let's start. So here is how you can install the plugin. Let's go here in Figma, uh, search for Buzzy, click on run, and we have this modal, this window. That's okay, great. And uh, just click here, connect to Buzzy, and now it's open another tab in the browser. Allow access. and now we are connected so let's go again to figma i close it open it again and now we are connected to the plugin to connect the api of openai to the plugin you need to click here on settings and after that go to manage api key Click here, paste the API, and that's all. You're connected with the API of, of uh, OpenAI. Okay, so let's take a look about the interface of the plugin. Here I open the chat. You have an AI assistant, the chat that you can add some information and it will create for you a brief. Here on the model, there is all the fields that the application will will have basically it's a let's say the logic of the app started here and the no code uh, section let's say we have here the team that i'm not sure what it is but uh, it's coming soon i believe it's uh, it's look promise let's say uh, markup here is the resume of all the screens that it will generate for you and after uh, we do all the process there will you will we will able to generate from here the screens from the app and at, at the end we have publish where you can click and create the real app and uh, no need the prototypes uh, it's connect everything and you can test the real app and basically not need any way and not need to use more prototype you can test the real app so i close here the chat let's go here i created the small brief here let's close this one to be more clean okay so i created this uh, prompt that i will add to the chat uh, for an application that i wanted to create write a brief for an application that works as a menu for a coffee shop include this information uh, there is five sections uh, two types for food uh, five main sections uh, one for food once uh, for drinks two different subcategories one for food once for drinks um, and a part of that we have uh, in the subcategory of the app uh, of the drink uh, let's show the name and the price and the subcategory of the food that shows the dish name information price and extras the app is to users let's do it in that way that's really better the app is to users a viewer and editor viewers is the customer that come to the coffee shop wants to see the menu editor is the coffee shop owner and that take care to add more dishes, change prices, and all the stuff of managing the app. So as you can see, the prompt is a little bit uh, very explained. I mean, I add some description details here, and that's because uh, from my experience working with all the AI assistants, once you add more information, you get better results. So I copy the information from here. I go here, uh, run again the plugin. And now let's wait in one moment until, okay, great. I will add it uh, here, the prompt, and let's run it. And now we need to waiting until the, the brief will generate it. It uh, takes some time. So I meanwhile, I will uh, waiting and let's see the, the results. In the meantime that it generates for us the brief, uh, one thing that I didn't mention before, the file I work on, it's a file that I download from the community of uh, Buzz in Figma. 
basically it's a UI kit, a design system UI kit that uh, you can download and uh, this uh, by downloading it you will be able to work much more faster because the app you will generate it uh, will based on the design system UI kit that you uh, download from here. So they have some different, there is silver, dark, I use the light that you can see here. But uh, once you download it, you should work in this file if you want to work much faster. Be aware that uh, you can uh, change the, the components in the design system, they change the color so you can fit it for your needs. Um, this is a very good shortcut to start working and generate the app. No need to build the design system from scratch, the UI kit from scratch. You can download here, adapt it to your, your preferences and continue to work from there. So after waiting for the chat to generate the brief based on our prompt, here you can see the brief that it's created. So as you can see here, a menu application for a coffee shop, five main section for different type of food with subcategories. We have uh, the functions here is the view menu. Uh, they allow the user to, to view the main items in the five menu sections. The details about the food that includes the uh, dish name, more information, price and extras. We have the drink details uh, that we can see here, the drink items and the name and the price. And edit menu that this allow to the owner uh, let's say uh, the editor of the, uh, the us uh, user that able to edit normally would be the coffee shop owner or something that somebody that worked there uh, to edit the items. Uh, you have we have two user rules: one is viewer and one is editor. And now I need to to do some two things I can do. First of all, I can go to edit, and if I want to edit the brief, I can do it from here. I can change the app name for now. I will leave it as is. Uh, still quite good of work. I didn't need to change a lot and as you, I can I say the before when you write good prompts this means that you will need to work less after that because uh, the AI will understand better what you want so if I go here down let's save it and now I go to model model um, I generate the data uh, model now just click here and now we will need to wait until it will uh, create all the data model for the app it will take some time, it's not uh, immediately, uh, of course it's a lot, do a lot of work, so it takes some time, but uh, let's wait after it will finish, uh, let's see what it will give us. So great, now we generated all the information in the model. We have menu item, you see in category, description, extras, and all the types of the information, for example, rich age, plain text, uh, currency, and the information about the user, that is the email, name, passport, photo and rule, and also the type of the information. Be aware that if you are not familiar with that uh, section, it's um, not so difficult to understand. Basically, if you work a little bit with no code, you will understand what it means, all this stuff. It's um, category the information inside the app. It's a little bit more technical, but it's not very difficult to understand once you work with it and uh, study it a little bit. Um, people that uh, design with the uh, no code apps will understand it uh, quite easily. Also, developer can understand uh, what it means. But uh, this may be part if you're not familiar, you will need to study a little bit. It's not so difficult, it's quite easy. Um, but this uh, you will see what it means after we generated the screens. So, the next thing, uh, as I said, go, we go to markup because Teams is uh, not available yet. Uh, it's coming soon, as you can see. Let's go to markup, and here you can see the uh, resume of all the information, all the screens uh, that we can have, the components, the fields, all the information. Once I click here on generate app design, it's make the magic, and you will see how it's create the application once I click it. So let's create generate app design. And now again, we need to wait a little bit. Uh, remember that this needs to create many screens with many visual designs. So it can take time. Um, so let's uh, see how it looks. Uh, I will wait a little bit and uh, once it's finished, we will see what it gives us. So now after it generated all the screen, if uh, let's close that one, you can see all the screen are generated and how it was very easy to be honest two, three clicks and one application with many screen generated. 
be aware that all the components that here come from the component page. You can see here all the components. Here we have the styles and icons, and we have here all the buttons, badge, all the information. This file I downloaded from the Figure community, from Buzzy in the Figure community, um, and yes, we have the app. You can see it here. Once it's here, we can publish it also. So I can click here to do it. I need to open the plugin. Let's uh, do it now. Um, I will need to paste the link. And let's go. Let's call it coffee. And now um, I need to uh, convert it to the app. I, I need to click here to paste the link of Figma. So I click here on share, copy link, paste here, continue. And now we have the app. First of all, if you want to see the live mode, I will click here. And we have an application that works. I can add items, go to menu, uh, go to home. But the thing is that we don't have any information inside. So what I will do, that's another good thing, that from here I can generate sample data. And it will uh, fill all the application with information. I click here. And it's generated the data for us. Let's take one moment. All the things with the AI, it's quite fast, but uh, it's not uh, super fast. You need to wait one, two, three minutes until it's finished everything. At the end, a lot of information uh, to fill. Uh, so I will wait now. Uh, and once it's finished, let's see what is the result. So now it's generated the sample data. Uh, basically, what it's necessary to do now is to update the app. I update it, and now it's add all the data to the code. Be aware that uh, there is also uh, all the information in the website of uh, Buzzy where you can add all the information about uh, this menu or the database. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, let's see it in live mode. We have here the menu, start exploring. Uh, and as you can see here, it's added the information about the, the menu. And of course, it's necessary to modify to the needs of uh, the place that uh, the special case of the coffee shop. Here it needs to add the prices also. And to be honest, I will add also an image here to make it more, uh, more real. Um, but as you can see, basically application that works. Of course, it's necessary to work a little bit on the logic to adapt it to exactly for your needs. At the end, remember, it's a magic. Uh, the AI create the whole application, but uh, the fine tuning, we need to do it uh, manually. I don't know, uh, for one line of text, it's not possible to understand everything that we need, but it's a, a huge shortcut uh, what we have today in this uh, future uh, product. Um, another thing that I wanted to show here, um, first of all, let's see, uh, you can add here uh, more type to the menu, generate the users, user base, and as you can see here, let's do a little bit, add the name of the person, but at the end, app that works. Uh, once you work in it a little bit, make it fine, fine tune it a little bit more, it will work uh, basically what you need. Um, about the design side, if you want to uh, change a little bit the colors, adapt the typography of the site, that is uh, super easy because let's close here. You can go to components and change from here the styles. Uh, we can do a, now a test. I take the brand 500 and I will change it. Let me see. Let's take it here. Let's change it to green. Great. 
and now if I go to the app, you can see that all the colors of the co uh, buttons change. So now again, we need to publish it again, but look how it's easy to change an, a visual element from the design to the code in one click. So I took the time to make fixing on the application. As you can see here, I had an image that looked uh, very nice. I generated images with Journey, so you know it's uh, quite easy to do. Uh, but you can see the app looks much more accurate now. And it was not, it didn't uh, took to me a lot of time. I mean, in uh, 10 minutes, I, generate, I, I generated the images, uh, make changes in the functional, uh, part of the app and adapt it uh, more close to my need. So as you can see, it's easy. Um, although the AI not make all the magic, at the end, with some modifications, we can do it uh, by ourselves and it is not a problem. So this was the all the tutorial that I wanted uh, to show. I hope it's a benefit you. I hope you enjoy it. If you like, please subscribe to my channel. I continue to grow and up, uh, upload more videos so you can study more about product design, Figma, and design systems. And thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.